Are you a Hindu? I'm actually your favorite. I'm an atheist. Atheist, That's what I heard you enjoy. You're atheist. You're my favorite. No, I'm not your friend, but I was told that you like having debates with such. Yes, yes, fave, atheist. Okay, brother, you are an atheist. Fine. I would like to congratulate you. You'd like to what? I would like to congratulate you. You know why? Why? The reason I congratulate you because all the others, all the human beings, they're blindly following. Father is a Christian, so son is a Christian. His parents are Hindu, he's a Hindu. Many of the Muslim parents are Muslims. You are thinking. I don't know their father was atheist. Father was atheist? No. Ah, good. So you are thinking. These are the people they worship this almighty God who falls down and breaks. So you are thinking. And the reason I congratulate you is because you have said the first part of the Islamic Shahada, La ilaha, there is no God. You have already said half the kalma. But not the second part. They have said the full kalma. You are half Muslim now. Atheist means half kalma, you know, la ilaha. Only thing I have to do is illa Allah, but Allah, which I shall do, inshallah. <laughs> I'm congratulating you because you have agreed to the other people who believe in wrong gods. First, I have to spend half my time in trying to convince them the God you're worshipping is wrong. You have already agreed there's no God. Only thing I have to do is prove to you about Allah, which I shall do, inshallah. Brother, Suppose there's equipment which is bought. Equipment is bought in front of you. No one in the world has ever seen. No human being has seen is bought in front of you. And if I ask you the question, who is the first person who will be able to tell you the mechanism of that equipment? I've heard this speech and it's the creator. It's the creator. So the creator of that equipment will be the first person who will be able to tell you the mechanism of that object. You may say creator, you may say manufacturer, you may say inventor, you may say maker, whatever it is somewhat similar. Now I'm asking you a question. How did this universe come into existence? How did this universe come into existence? You are going to now mention the Big Bang and all No, I'm that. asking you. Yeah. Don't tell me what I'm going to mention. Well, I want to know what, if, what is the... If you no, you are... I'm asking you according to your knowledge. No, the thing is, I've actually heard this speech before. I'm Fine. actually a good fan of yours, you know that. Mashallah, you're a good fan. Good fan, theoretical or practical? If you're a practical fan, practical. you will follow. If I'm wrong, you correct me. If I'm right, you join me. No, I only learned about you about two weeks back, actually. Fine. So in two weeks, you became a great fan. Mashallah, I'm very happy about it. In two weeks, you learn about me. That means you know. You know about the creation, the Big Bang, yes, which yes, we came yes, to know yes, recently. That, Quran yes. mentioned 14 years ago in Surah Ambiya, chapter 21, verse number 30. Well, I don't know the verses, but... Fine, but you know that. <laughs> yeah. Similarly, we did not know that the earth was spherical. We came to know recently. Quran mentioned 14 years ago in Surah Nadia, chapter 7 and yes, verse number 30, it is spherical. We thought first the light of the moon is its own light. Quran mentions 14 years ago, the light of the moon is not its own light, reflected light, which we came to know recently. Who could have mentioned this? There's biology. There is water cycle, which you learned in school. There is embryology. There is genetics. My question is, who could have mentioned all these things in the Quran? So if you have heard this, you also know the answer. Who could have mentioned in the Quran? Same answer. The creator. The creator. This creator who has mentioned in the Quran, we call as Allah. So that means you believe in the creator. Who could have mentioned this in the Quran? The creator. The creator who created the human beings, the person who created all this universe. It can't be a human being who writes all this. So now do you believe in a creator? Well, there are different perspectives, you see, a person has. You can we'll think about on. science or you can think about God. Now, the debate is which to follow. No, we problem. can follow both. I but believe in as both. I, as I I'm said. A, I'm a student of science also. Also, I'm a believer in God. Both. As, as my opening question stated, what I asked about terrorism, I believe you also know those are certain facts that brother, we will come to terrorism later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, brother, we are talking brother, about brother, that. Brother, Why brother, I don't brother, believe. Brother, wait, brother, wait. You asked me direct question, suicide bombing, killing innocent wrong, I gave direct answer. Now I am asking you a direct question, you give me a direct answer. You ask me, you are happy with my answer. No beating around the bush. I am asking you directly, when you believe in the creator, why don't you accept the creator? I am asking you directly. So you ask me direct question in front of 30,000 people, I give a direct answer. I am asking you a direct question. You didn't believe in God, I congratulate you. Now I prove to you that the creator wrote the Quran. Now I am asking the question, why don't you believe in the creator? 
I didn't say that I believe in the Creator. No, I you was said just the Creator. mimicking your speech, oh, I which didn't, I watched. Uh, brother, I didn't ask you to come here to mimic me, please. Did I ask you to come and mimic me? I asked you, who wrote? You said Creator. I didn't say, did I say that? No, but that's Even what in my you, speech, I don't what, say. That's what you said. Even I in didn't say, speech. the questioner said. That means you haven't seen my speech correctly. Like how you are telling, when I ask an yes, yes, he gives the reply, Creator, not I. Not I. That means I haven't seen my speech correctly. It is a person like you, who I might have asked the question to, he gave the reply. Like how you gave the reply now. Did I ask you to mimic or did I ask you to give answer from your heart? So that means you are not a very truthful person. Nah? You asked me a question, brother. I gave answer directly from my heart, correct? Yes. I'm asking a question, you gave the answer, now you're saying that I'm mimicking. Okay, if I say the Creator is what you want to hear, now... Not what if, I want to no, hear. No, 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 no. Listen, hypothetically here. Not hypothetically. If, if we say that I agree to the Creator, now what if I say that I agree to the Creator of what was written, but I don't believe what was written justifies everything. You're giving me six facts. Correct, you're correct, correct. Me, very good, very good. You're wait, telling wait, wait, me wait. six things, but there's a lot in life that's not written there. Fine, fine. There's Come, nothing wait, about wait, 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 wait. gravity or... You're just telling me about light on the moon. Correct. Very the good, very flat. good, very good. The brother says he believes in the Creator, but everything is not there. Brother, this book, the Quran, is not a book of science. S-C-I-E-N-C-E. -E. It's a book of signs. S-I-G-N-S. It's a book of ayats. There are more than 6,000 signs, 6,000 ayats in the Quran, out of which more than 1,000 speak about science. It's not a book of science. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, that's not written there. But the beauty of it is, what is written, we did not know. You mean me, did not me, the creator wrote. If it had everything of science, it would be a voluminous book as big as the World Trade Center. Or maybe it's Buruj, Dubai, tallest yeah. building now. It is not a book of science, brother. Please don't misunderstand. It is to prove to the scientist that this is the word of God. This is the word of creator. What do you have to tell me to disprove it? You have to take out a mistake in the Quran. Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse number 82, do they not consider the Quran with care? Had it been from anyone besides Allah, there would have been contradictions in it. There would have been mistakes in it. So for you to disprove the Quran to be the word of Allah, you have to take out mistakes. That's the reason I said, please come up and take out mistakes in the Quran. Why? If it's wrong, I will leave it. If it's right, you join me. It's a two-way, not one way. But uh, how old is the Quran? I don't exactly know. How the old Quran is, the Quran? is approximately 1400 years old. Okay, and how long have human beings existed in this planet? Human beings in millions of years. Millions of years. Uh, I'm not challenging you. Don't don't get this wrong. I've just I'm, no. I like I people challenging you, me. What is I the like reason? people challenging me. Yeah. Okay, if you want to challenge, then I'll I'll take that step then. Okay, what is the reason that? Uh, first of all, is I believe Christianity is older than. Uh, Islam. It's, no, no, you're uh, wrong. Is, uh, you're wrong. Is I, Christianity is not older than Islam. How, how, what's the difference? Islam is there since time immemorial, since man set foot on the earth. Okay. From the first human being, it's already there. Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger. He came 1400 years ago. He was the last messenger. Quran is the last revelation, not the first revelation. This is the last testament. Hmm. Otherwise, Islam is there since time immemorial. Isa right. alayhi salam, Jesus Christ, was a Muslim according to the Quran. Abraham was a Muslim according to the Quran. Peace be upon them all. So Islam means peace acquired by submitting our will to Almighty God. It is there since time immemorial.